thank you thank you very much for that question but before i answer it let me just amplify a little on this very important issue that we are discussing now it is extremely very important that as much as it's important that we you know we worry about international agreements respect for contractual agreements with foreign investors we should also worry about the damage that has been done to domestic investors because i mean this is across all levels of government whether it is federal whether it is states whether it is local government the rate at which contracts are, are flouted are breached are completely abandoned especially from one administration to the other it matters worse the justice delivery system is not helping matters because if you if you solve breaches of contract and you go to court, you'll be there till eternity. So we need reforms around all of these things in order to solve investors' confidence. The government uh, the books are full of judgment debts that have not been paid. So these things are very, very frustrating for investors. And I think we need to address it both internationally and locally. We have some private sector investors who will never touch the government contracts with a long pole because of their experience. And we need to bring the private sector on board when it comes to things like this. So we need to clean up this space properly to make the private sector, the contractors, have confidence in government contractual agreements. We need that discipline to, to return. Now back to your question about reforms, about implementation. I think what is important in all of this, the government has made some very, very you know, good pronouncements around reforms. The principles are good. The government is trying to fix some fundamental distortions in the economy. That is fine. But I worry about the lag between what the government says and the speed of implementation. So the bureaucracy needs to be up and doing. This is, this is not a time for things to be too slow. I mean, look at all the pronouncements, intervention, and things that the government has announced to address the issue of cost of living. As I'm speaking to you, the implementation is yet to effectively take off. Almost a, over a month after, after pronouncements, the president even addressed the nation July last year on the impact of subsidy on the citizens and the fact that he was going to do something very urgently about it. So we need to bridge that gap. The policy pronouncements are good, but the implementation lag, the lag between pronouncements and implementation is something that we need to deal with. Secondly, is the significance of stakeholder engagement. The policymakers cannot understand the economy better than those who are operating the economy. I'm not saying that they should ac accept everything that the private sector says. Because there is a narrative that where the private sector are just are always after profit and they are being selfish. But if the government is looking at a bigger picture, you know that the private sector is contributing a lot to the growth of the economy beyond the profit that they are making. They are the one creating jobs, they are, they are the one creating the tax revenue, and all of that. So stakeholder consultation is key before we take any major policy decision. So that we have the buy-in of the stakeholders in the economy, we have the, the opposite of enriching the quality of those policies. So those things are very, are very important because we are in a democracy. And as much as possible, we should democratize the policy environment so that we don't have policies that are completely misaligned with what the investors are expecting.